Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media. I'm joined by Chris Ulrich from Winnipeg, Manitoba for our newest segment of Zoomies. Welcome, Chris. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. It's our pleasure. So first off, care to introduce yourself to our listeners? Sure. Yeah, my name is Chris Ulrich and um, I've been a guitar player, musician, recording engineer, person in the scene for a uh, long time, and I just released my first full-length record called Big in the USA. Okay. So as you said, you unveiled your new album, Big in the USA, on March 31st. Um, can you tell us a bit about the writing process behind the release? Sure. Um, yeah, I, it was, I kind of wrote it at a time when I didn't think I would write songs again. Oh, <laughs> I was okay. feeling pretty, pretty uninspired and... Uh, some friends of mine uh, in a band called Slow Spirit run a songwriting club. And they, uh, the point of this club was to write and record a song every single week. And if you didn't submit it by the end of the week, you'd be out of the club. So like, there was like a pressure to stay in and like see what your friends are making and stuff. And uh, just through that writing club, I wrote the majority of the songs for this record. And it kind of just lit a fire under me. And I was like, I just discovered, a, uh, discovered my voice again. That's through that awesome. process yeah That's really cool um if you could only choose one song for a new listener to check out which would you choose i think i'd go with the title track um big in the usa it just feels um i'm, I'm on the road right now so i just feel like i'm really identifying with that song and it's kind of about touring and and being a musician and being a creative and just not giving up you know just keep uh keep working at what you're doing and i think it applies to a lot of different areas of life mm -hmm. but I'd say that one right now. Okay. Describe your sound in three words. Ooh, uh, optimistic, nostalgic, and uh, 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 rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do you have any upcoming shows to tell us about? Uh, nothing on the books, um, but I will be doing a album release in, uh, in Winnipeg and Toronto. I have those two kind of okay. percolating at the moment, yeah. So the next five questions are just for fun. What was the first album you purchased with your own money? Oh, oh this you is going to remember. <laughs> this is going to, it's it was probably like theory of a dead man or something like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> who was the first Canadian artist to catch your attention growing up? um first Canadian artist yeah I was a huge uh Billy Talent fan like mm -hmm. massive Billy Talent fan and so that was like one of my first uh one of my you know kind of first records I really identified with okay what would your dream vacation destination be um I really want to go to Mexico this winter I want to eat tacos and sit on the beach and uh drink tequila that's my plan okay <laughs> if you could tour with one Canadian artist and one non-Canadian artist, who would you choose? Um, if I could tour with a Canadian artist, I'd have to go with... Oh, that's really hard, honestly. I love the Bar Brothers. I'm a huge fan of them. Um, and then an American artist, I would have to say like War on Drugs or something like that. Okay. What's your go-to social media platform? I use Instagram a lot. Um, I like to just like post what I'm up to when I'm touring and, uh, you know, kind of just let people in on my life a little bit. I think it's really fun. And I'm, I'm trying out TikTok. I'm doing some, some things here and there, okay. but for sure, Instagram is the main one. For sure. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining me. It's been great to learn more about you. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it.